Hey Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Terry. Today we're going to just go with whatever the hell comes out, okay, in this read, all right? First, we're going to delve into the overall energies, okay, that's going on with you. Going to throw some tear on the situation, see what's going on, and then uh, clarify. And then lastly, we're going to see what to expect moving forward, like in your life, period, okay? Now, this could play out past, present, or future. Take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you, okay? Um, this is a timeless reading, so when you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. Remember to check out my playlist for additional collective reads. I do currently have personals available on my website. Link down below in the description box. I have been working on my Patreon membership as well. It's called the Boom Boom Room over there on Patreon. The link is down below in the description box as well. Um, all of that information will be on my website. For those of you that want to check out my website, remember you will only ever book a personal reading with me through that website, okay? Uh, I do have a lot of other goodies on there as well, but I want to thank you all so very much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, and donations to this channel. It's greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and delve into this reading for Aries. Someone arising. What's Aries energy, spirit, please? And thank you for Aries. What's going on with Aries? I speak with sincerity. I feel like you've been speaking up, Aries, and you ain't really been giving a fuck lately. Real unapologetic energy here. I feel like you've been just smoking weed out in public. You don't care. Or some of you all just smoke cigarettes or blacks or whatever shit. I ain't judging, you know. Um, but there is something that does need to be said. And I feel like I don't know why I'm getting testimony. Smash that like button if you're an Aries out there and you feel like you have a testimony to speak. I feel like you're called to do it. Um, just do it in a way. I don't know. I'm getting like eccentric though. Don't do it like how everybody else do. They go blurting shit out and talking and this, that, and the next. You have like some type of creative spark, some type of idea, right? You see this little bird on this feminine's energy's shoulder, right? That's like an ancestor. That's like a hummingbird coming. Um, it's like a receiving of a blessing. It's like you've been smashing like button if you've been getting thoughts, right? Intuitions, instincts. It's like game, right? Getting put up on game and you tested it out one or two times and it was a good ass idea to listen to that intuition, giving you a leg up. I feel like that same voice is guiding you to do some type of endeavor, right? You're going to make some money off of it. And it's some type of freedom of expression, freedom of speech, okay? I want to say that big energy there because um, I even see a little bit of dull um, solar plexus energy. You may need to balance out your solar plexus. Okay, your gut instinct, your gut intuition, following that gut instinct and acting on it, okay, can help strengthen that, I believe. But look into it a little bit more. Here we have, I live in truth. I feel like some aspect of you, like this gives me the rising of the Kundalini. I feel like some aspect of you are, I mean, is starting to ascend into higher thinking. Okay, I feel like answers are going to start to come to you quicker, easier, but it comes like after you acting on who you are, being brave enough to express yourself as well. It says, I speak positively of others. Okay, now Aries, I don't want you down talking nobody. Okay, look, I'm just an individual just like your ass. Okay, but I'm the reader here. So my advice would be is don't go collecting no unnecessary karma, more challenges along the way by talking shit about people, whether they did you wrong or not. Don't um, exercise your voice. It's something about what you're speaking. Okay, that could be your greatest challenge, but it also could be your greatest gift as well. Really pay attention to that. That light is a feather. And then that scarab, that's of quality. Speak things of quality, Aries. Let's get one more. We'll see the bottom deck. 
Here we have, I consume only my fair share. Don't be out there spreading that chi and that life force too thin now. Um, I It's more so of like you see things and then you want to go get it, you know. Um, it's like that gluttonous behavior. But I'm seeing uh, two individuals here. Uh, for real, I'm getting like it's some type of sexual fantasy. Like, you know, um, if you're into those type of raw, uncut readings, check me out on the Boom Boom Room uh, on Patreon, okay? Um, where I'll have raw and uncut readings. If you want to delve more into that, I'll have Zodiac reads and all that there, raw and uncut. But here, I'm going to just say your sexual appetite, you know, it's almost an energy. Look, I'm not judging you. What the fuck can I say? You know, you're meant to have free will and live your life, you know, to the fullest. You know, I'm all for that. So live your life the best way you can, right? But at the same time, it's something about this energy that dilutes um, your power, so to speak. It's almost like baggage or weight because I am getting that. I'm getting like weight. Some of you all could want to lose weight. So smash that like button if you want to lose weight. Or smash that like button if you want to gain weight. Like you want to be thick as fuck. I mean, shit ain't nothing wrong with that. But that's just the energy I'm getting, okay? And then it says, I keep the water as pure. Some of y'all just need to start drinking more water. Some of you all need a yoni cleanse or like a yoni steam. Okay, check it out. Shit. I've done it before. I got my own yoni um, at home for personal use. You won't do it too much. You know, maybe I'll do some video on that one time. You know, I have another channel I'm trying to get up and shit, but that's another story. But I just want to say, um, yoni, look into that. But I'm, I'm hearing that they have these places women can go to. Okay, for all the women out there. Uh, do like some yoni cleanse. At least that's what I'm getting intuitively. Um, others of you, like if you're a male, you probably really need to drink water. Like a lot more water. That's what I'm getting. Um, I don't know. Like you, I, for some of you, it's like pop. That's all it is. Like, or liquor. Or liquor and pop. You know, because you mixing the shit. You know, it's something like that, you know. But um, I see I act respectfully of others. So regardless of whatever is going on, it's saying that you need to kind of cleanse yourself, let go of that extra baggage. Some of you all may need to do spiritual baths. It could be as simple as that. You know, look into it if you don't know what it is. Um, to release this extra baggage that's on you as you are going into your purpose or going into a pivotal moment in your life. Okay, yeah, I spread joy. You see, like that transformation energy takes place and it looks like it's on a soul level, don't it? It looks like this is something that a soul is undergoing. So this is like at your most rawest, uncut potential self. And then we even have you here again. I benefit with gratitude. Giving thanks to this whole process and what's in the hand, the feather. Because be light as a feather. You don't need that karma, do you? You want extra baggage along the way to slow you down, Aries? It's as simple as that. Okay? So, let's delve into the tarot. Let's see what's going on in the situation right now. Whatever comes out for Aries. So, you're dealing with a situation where someone is being sneaky. Betraying you, let's see. Page of Swords. But they're, oh, okay, okay. You could, this could be past tense. You're watching, you're looking back at a situation um, where somebody was like sneaky and you can't trust them, distrust. Six of Wands, hmm, this is interesting. The World Card, you're leaving something behind and people can tell, this person can tell. I feel like they're watching you as well. It's like some part of you in the past would just dog this person out current day. <clears throat> But you're not. And this person sees you possibly on social media. Others of you, it's like some type of platform. Like maybe you you maybe you do YouTube. Um, I guess shit, that's all social media, right? So yeah. 
But some of you are specifically like the screen, you know? So, however that um, works out for you. Some of y'all could be actors, shit. Some of you all could, you know, people watch you on the big screen. Like, you know, temperance. You're, they're saying you're very poised and you are... doing so gracefully moving so like moving out of this cycle you're really making it look good and easy aries okay very tempered um it's like you're reaping the benefits of this work that you're putting in instantly that's what i want you to know with the eight of cups you're leaving anything behind that made you sad in fact you're leaving this person behind as well Four swords. So look, Aries, what this is telling me is that you're looking back, okay? Whether you're doing this now or in the future, um, of course, shit. If you're not doing this now, you're going to be doing it, okay? I'm seeing that you're growing from any and everything that ever hurt you, anything that like wrong did you on the low, anything that ever lowballed you. Like you're letting all of that go and that pain doesn't affect you anymore. You're going through this spiritual enlightenment, this changing of life, of self, everything. And you need to ready yourself. Like you need to take these spiritual baths to get the last of that gunk off, all that weight off. Because where you're headed it's nothing but bliss and happiness. And I feel as though you're going through like some type of purification process. Shit. Some of y'all could have been like smash that like button. If you've been sweating a lot in your sleep, you know, uh, I'm even getting like hot at first and then chills, like waking up just drenched, but cold as fuck. Some of y'all been waking up with the cover off. Like what the fuck? Some of y'all don't even sleep with the cover on and you've been pulling it on. Like, bottom deck is the magician. Yeah, because the world is your oyster. It's like you have all the tools you need to manifest your reality. Some of you all really been delving into manifestation. Smash that like button if that's you. And it's like, it's taking effect. Hey, I'm not even gonna lie. Somebody here need to watch Moana. I was just telling my best friend that. Like, girl, you need to watch Moana. She like, she never watched it before. I'm like, what? You know, I'm, I'm a Leo. So my inner child is booming. I'm not afraid to like delve into things that feed my soul. Okay. I see you doing that. Okay. A lot more. I see you being more grounded. If you've been just wondering like, damn, where the fuck is my head at? Like you haven't been feeling grounded. That's what I'm getting. You will. Okay, but just during this process, mind your words. Okay, don't be collecting no unnecessary karma, karmic debt, which equal challenges, lessons, right? You're going through a process where all of that will no longer affect you anymore. You won't need that where you're going. Look, nine of cups. You ain't going to need all that if you being fulfilled all the time. You're not going to need that baggage. That's what you're moving towards. Nine of Cups, ultimate fulfillment. And this is the truth. Ace of Swords comes out. Clarity. After you face the truth and you really realize what you need to cut out of your life. It's like facing the hard truth here with the hangman and the Ace of Swords. But you're doing it. Mm-hmm. Nine of Wands. It was a long time coming. Like, man, you fall hard. This wasn't easy. Yeah, with the tower here. But hey, it's here. It comes. You do excellent. You get what it is you want, what you've been wanting and needing. Some of you all was fearful of when this was going to happen. Like you could feel something coming. You know, um, y'all got that Beanie Seagull feeling in the air. That's your channel song. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um... You do something. It's like you you could feel it coming and 
some of you all are jazz lovers as well. Um, smash that like button if you like jazz, for sure. Um, you thought that this, you thought something else was the test, but really this was the test, and you pass it with flying colors. Here yeah, with the nine of cups, you're coming out of a cycle, okay? Uh, you could have been dealing with a Leo, damn. Another fire sign or like a Sagittarius, right? Or I'm even hearing Taurus. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. This could have been someone you had a family with. Like you had a child with this person. And it was just like, damn, I'm never really going to trust people to that extent again to have a child with them. Yeah, heavy emphasis on a child. Sun card. Um, and even shit just blending the families and being happy. You're gonna have like you're gonna have a second chance at happiness. Or fuck, a fifth or tenth or hundredth chance at happiness. Right? Because there's no limit on that. Look, nine of pentacles, single abundant. You're like people are watching you somewhere, Aries. They looking at you and you're looking fucking good. With the world card and the five of swords, you're closing a cycle on betrayal. Like, you're not dealing with that anymore, okay? King of Cups. Oh, it's a water sign that's been feeling some type of way about you. Queen of Wands, they put you in a third-party situation. The Death card, you cut their ass off. They could be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. The person you just recently cut off. This could have been the person that hurt you. For others of you, it's just somebody else that had to bite the dust. Yeah, with the Nine of Wands. You're doing spring cleaning with the Temperance card here and the Nine of Wands again. It lets me know that shit is a long time coming, but I'm still finna get it done. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, it's a long time coming, but you're strategic and you're gonna end up getting what the fuck it is you want. And that's abundance, happiness, money stability seven of wands and you're gonna hold your own you're gonna stay true to yourself and you're not gonna let emotions cloud your judgment i feel like that's the biggest thing here with the four swords and the knight of wands i do see that sexual energy here though i'm not even gonna lie i see that eight of swords you're in your head about who maybe you want to sleep with moving forward it's like i'm not even gonna lie okay Raw and Uncut videos will be up on Patreon on a boom, boom, wrong. Okay. Um, but I will say you just want to get you somebody that you can sleep with that, you know, if it's just that, it's just that. But you're not about to be sleeping around with everybody, you know. And you know, with the King of Wands here, I honestly see your next encounter is going to be with somebody you probably going to end up being with. Okay, in the long run. Yeah, with the lovers on the bottom deck. Could be a Gemini. Okay, sun, moon, or rising. Uh, this this person will be your justice. They're going to come in. You're going to think that you're just messing around with them and that's that. This person may want to marry you. This person could have just went through a divorce or you could have. With the eight of pentacles here, this person is going to pursue you. They're going to constantly work um, at pursuing you. This person may not be as successful as you. Um, they could, they could, um, this person could be doing a new business endeavor. Like their past previous business endeavor could have flopped or they just didn't get as much out of it. Okay. And it's like you damn near, um, you motivate this person. Like they, it's a healthy relationship coming towards you, Aries. That's what I can say for sure. For some of y'all, y'all go meet this person at a nude beach. <laughs> you know, that's what I see. Look, in May, this person's per birthday could be in May. Um, that's that Taurus energy again. Something could go down in May. Okay, take it how it resonates. Moving forward, we have wreath, sorrow over loss. So you could be really starting to heal around May. Okay. Yeah, to clarify that, we have great good fortune. Some of you all could have undergone a loss or will undergo a loss of um, a relative. My condolences in May. 
this person's birthday could have been in May, but I see you gaining something from that, whether it's inheritance, whether it's closure. I see great happiness here as well. I see you reminiscing about this person a lot for sure. Um, the bottom deck here, we have a staff. You will be taken care of and div in difficult times you have this ancestor okay that um is watching over you okay um i know we touched on that briefly in the beginning um but this person uh could be a grandmother for a lot of you uh this person or a mother of it's a feminine energy okay for sure um someone that okay even if they're a woman this person was tough okay for sure that's what i'm getting um but nurturing at the same time I feel like this person never left you and they're definitely giving you a lot of advice. Okay, so lean on that. Okay, um, trying to do a little work with following your intuition more, putting it to the test, seeing that it, because every time is going to deliver. Once it delivers every time, you're going to start building that trust with that intuition within in yourself. Okay, and you'll act on it more. Here we have the sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start, okay? That's what's coming towards you. Literally, it could be the next fucking morning, your energy just shifts into this. Something is about to take off here. I could see that. Yeah, younger woman, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. For some of you all, it could be a cousin or something. I see like a trip. You know, um, in the midst. And it says, weeping willow, family sorrow. You could be getting together with this person at a funeral, um, this younger woman, okay? But this person could definitely remind you of, you know, it's like this person gives you some advice, but you're with this person during this hard time. And then you're also with them celebrating, moving into happiness. Let me get one more. Moving forward for Aries. Here we have lion, time to act. Let me get one on that lion. Quill, get back to the basics. Damn, you about to get ready and go hard, Aries. That's what I see. Temporary problems, okay? You're, you're overcoming temporary problems, temporary setbacks. Remember we talked about that weight, right? Weighing you down. You're about to come out of all of that. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. Here we have Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. That's your ass. It, look, Aries, this is your ass right here. Ram. Okay? Bossing up, emperor energy, climbing toward success. I'll never fucking lie to you when you come to this channel. That's why you come, right? And then it says, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. And affairs with your family. So two things taken taken on here. Loss, sorrow over family. A loss of a loved one. Okay, and I, like I said, my condolences. And secondly, needing to watch your ass. Okay, Aries? Getting back to the basics. Because it's nonetheless work to be done. You're not just going to go into being this boss by sitting on your ass, right? It's work to be done, okay? You got all the tools coming in as the magician. All you got to do is do it. If that message resonated with you, Aries, smash that like button, okay? If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. I want to thank you for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.